everyone, Somalian here. Today we're going to be looking at Atmos, a tricky and often difficult and confusing task for new players and the engineering department. Alright, so let's go into Atmos and let's get to know our gases, which are all too important. Starting off from down here, we have nitrogen, or N2. It's a relatively useless gas. It's good for stifling fires and making up about 80% of the station's atmosphere. Then we have oxygen, or O2. This is a very important gas, providing oxygen for all the humans, pets, and lizards on board the station. All aboard the station need at least 16 kPa of oxygen to be able to live and breathe. This gas can be also useful for bringing air back into a previously spaced room. Next up, we have the air canister. The air canister contains the air that everyone breathes on board the station. It can be thought of as watered down oxygen, with nitrogen being the water. And then we have carbon dioxide, or CO2. It's a heavy, invisible gas, good for choking people and possibly killing them. It's difficult to detect without an atmos analyzer. After that, we have plasma. A toxin which is highly flammable and will most likely get you banned if you dare touch it on most servers. Also, be careful, opening one of these on a server will alert an admin that you have opened it in the player alerts. Then we have, last but not least, we have N2O, which is nitrous oxide. It's a very effective sleep agent if you don't mind suffocating and killing the target in the process. Right, now that we have the air canisters and such out of the way, let's get to know the pipes. First, we have the red pipe. The red pipe bring in uh, spent air from all around the station, going all the way from here, bring it into this fine spot. It travels down here, and it can, it can go straight down here, and it can be either filtered out into space or it can be reused and recycled for later batches of air. Then we have the green pipes which are most useful for the waste loop. Uh, basically they filter out all the contaminants in the air and they bring them back to their little containment cells over here. After that we have the teal or light blue loop the teal or light blue loop uh, brings in nitrous nitrogen. Sorry, it brings in nitrogen and oxygen, and filters them into the air canister. The air canister is then released over here, and brought along along all the way to the blue pipe, where it's released back into the air. The blue pipe takes gases from the these mixed valves and the teal or light blue pipes and filters them into the air where everybody breathes. This can also be done with plasma or any other gas that's harmful to the, to the crew. Now, next, you might notice these yellowish brown pipes. These are mixed pipes. They take in air from the nitrogen, oxygen, air, carbon dioxide, plasma, and nitrous oxide. And it all brings them into here. Right here we can combine and mix different gases. And later on, if you even if you want to or if you want to try, you can even release these back into the air where everybody breathes. So basically it's just like a sandbox for mixing gases and testing out what does what. However, be advised that if you do make something that can actually be very deadly or harmful to the crew and release it back into the air, you can be punished and maybe even banned for doing so. Now let's learn how to set up Atmos so that it takes stuff out of the air and lets new air into the station. So, as we already know, the scrubbers take air from all around the station and bring them here. 
we gotta turn on this pump so it pumps the used up air into right here where we can either filter it into space right away or we can mix it and return it back to its cells. The easier option would be just to pump it out back into space. However, if you do want to mix it, I'll do that right now. So first up, you're going to want to make sure that the filters are set to the correct spot. So N2 goes to, you know, nitrogen. And you're going to want to hit the power button to turn it on. And you're basically going to want to do this for every single one. Make sure oxygen's connected to O2. CO2 is connected to carbon dioxide, plasma to plasma, and uh, nitrous oxide to nitrous oxide. And then after, at the end of this, you're gonna notice that the pump goes here and it gets pushed right up into this area. This is where all the rest of the spent air goes. And you can choose to either return it straight back into the pipe or just send it back into the mixing area. What we're going to do for this time is just going to push it into here and then it's going to start filling up the air around the station. All right. After that, we have the teal pipes. As mentioned before, they are combined to make uh, air. So we're going to find the N2 canister, turn the pump for it on. It's as we can see, it goes here. We're going to turn on the mixer, which is at an 80-20% for N2 and oxygen. Turn that one on. And we're going to turn on ox the oxygen pump as well. And now, as you can see, it's once again going into here. And it's going into the air canister. Now this room is going to slowly be filled up with air, breathable air. So we're going to want to turn on this. And now it's slowly going to be released back into the air. Yeah, that's about it. However, just as a word of caution, if you do manage to cause a plasma flood or a carbon flood or something like that, and you wish to get rid of it, the scrubbers don't actually work. The only way to remove it is either to contact an admin or to, how do I say it, um, or to open up a hole into space and filter it out manually. So it's, it's best to be very careful. Now, if you do want to contact an admin, all you have to do is open chat, click A help, which opens up, brings up the menu for A help. All right. Thanks everyone for watching my video. I've been Somalian. Please leave a comment if you wish to see another video in the future. And please do leave a like. It helps out the channel. All right. Thanks for everything. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.